DIYers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crafty Lady Era. Now today, we're going to be doing a very different type of a project. And if you like what you see, please comment below. Tap that notification bell and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos. And like and subscribe. Because when you subscribe, you're letting YouTube know that I, I want to be, you know, you're helping my channel to grow. And it's also letting YouTube know you to notice me more so I can come, you know, so I can continue giving more exciting and awesome videos. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's go. You will need some glue and paint. You're going to need some Dollar Tree dice and pins. And you're going to need some black paint and white paint. Let's get started. DIYers. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Era. Today we're going to do a, a cute little quick project using these Dollar Tree foam dice. Um, I thought maybe we could make some little marshmallow people. Or little marshmallow yeah, people. Um, this is a cute project to do with the family really cute and very simple so yeah let's get started okay first of all we're going to use white paint and we're going to paint these white now when you paint these white you may have to put about Maybe three or four coats. Okay, now these are kind of dry, so what I want to do is I want to put seal it in with Mudge Podge. The paint, uh, it'll dry quick because I have the fan on over here. So yeah, I'll just do each side. I just want to seal in the paint so when I pour the chocolate over it, or some pretend chocolate, you know. And I know you're thinking, why don't I do it after I pour it? Well, because this is my way of sealing it in. I'm still going to put more Mudge Pudge on here again, but I'm going to let this dry, and then the next time I come back, we're going to be ready to pour the chocolate. I'm going to show you how to do that over this, okay? Okay. These are dry now, so I'm going to show you how to pour the chocolate on the top. First, you're going to get some brown paint. Okay. Then, you're going to pour glue in there. Uh, I don't have very much glue left from the last project, but let me see what I can get in here. And the reason why you're pouring glue is to give it more of a, a chocolatey, thick chocolate effect. Okay, let's see how that does. All right, now. You're going to get your brush, and you're going to mix it. See how it's coming? See how it's starting to, it's a little thick? Look, see, like chocolate? See? Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get it, and you're going to pour just a little bit on the top. Okay. 
And you're going to get it and spread it around a little bit. And kind of let it drip off on the sides just a little bit, not too much. Make it look like you poured chocolate over the marshmallow. It's gonna come out super cute. Just get it and kind of shove it to the side, off the side a little bit. You don't want it to drip too much. It'll take about a day or so for this thing to dry. And if you see it dripping too far down, just kind of push it up a little bit and it'll stop dripping. Okay. See how it looks like chocolate? Look at that. So cute. Uh -oh. I messed it up. Okay, I'll put this over to the side. Kind of shove it a little bit. Let it dry a little. Pour the next one. It really does look like chocolate. <laughs> this is so much fun to do. The only hard time consuming part is painting it. Uh, It looks so much like chocolate. I'm almost like you want to eat it. <laughs> it looks so cool. 
So like I was saying, uh, the only hard part is, is painting. Painting this, this uh, marshmallow white. Okay, everyone, they're kind of a little dry, not totally, but enough for me to draw the face. Um, Okay, I just drew the faces on them using a marker. I just used marker and uh, to draw the face, I'm just letting the top dry a little bit. And I, I just came up with an idea. Um, add these to your list. I have some cherries. These cherries, I bought them at Dollar Tree. And these, I've had them, so I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. So what I'm gonna do is once they dry, I'm gonna hot glue them on to the top. Okay, now let's uh, let's go ahead and add the cherries to these. Not all of them are going to have cherries. Some of them are going to be a little, have uh, peppermint candy. So. Some of them I'm going to put this peppermint candy. And it's not real, it's just plastic. But like I said, I've had it since last year. It was part of an ornament, so. <laughs> Thought it would look so cute you know you can do a lot of things i'm gonna um i'm gonna be doing some more of these but they're going to be um uh, okay here it is marshmallow friends <laughs> they cut i thought it came out so cute See them? They came out really, really nice. They really did. I love the way they came out. I'm gonna be doing some more because I have some more of these. So, smaller. So I'm gonna be doing some more, but uh, these ones will be a little bit different. So, okay, I hope you like what I did. Like, subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos, okay? All right, keep on crafting. Remember to share. I will see you in the next video.
バイ。